Hello everyone. So what I'm going to do here is do like a reverse derivation of Bernoulli. And Bernoulli's equation comes from conservation of energy. And I'm going to sh sort of show you how each of these terms is related to an energy term or a force term in, in a fluid. So what do we have here? We have the components of Bernoulli's equation written down here, and they're all constant. So this is the pressure. We have um, something to do with uh, V squared, which we might have an idea has to do with kinetic energy. And then we have to have something to do with H, the height that the fluid is lifted, which we might have, which we might think is due to potential energy. Okay, so let's draw a little tube here. And what I want to do is I want to think of a little piece of fluid flowing in this tube. Right, so there's some little chunk of fluid here that has some length delta x and it has some area A here. And what I want to do is multiply Bernoulli's equation by the volume of this little chunk of fluid. So there's some volume of this little chunk of fluid, so AX, and we're going to multiply Bernoulli by it. So what does that look like? So we have the pressure times A delta X plus one half rho V squared times A delta X plus the density of fluid times the height times A delta X is equal to some constant times A delta X, but that's just some other constant, right? This A delta X isn't gonna change. Our little chunk of fluid isn't gonna change. Well, what do we notice? We notice that P times A is actually equal to some force times delta X. Plus, plus, well, rho times A times delta X, well, this is the density times some volume. And we know the density times a volume is a mass times V squared. Plus, well, we have some density times the volume again, and we know that that's the mass, mgh. And this is all equal to a constant. And so what we have here is conservation of energy. We have that the work plus the kinetic energy plus the potential energy is equal to a constant. Right? So as this volume moves throughout this, this line to the end, the total energy is conserved in this system. So that's where we can see where Bernoulli's equation might come from. But it is an ad hoc derivation, right? This isn't a real derivation. This is sort of just a reverse illustration.